Yo, what's up guys, it's really here and welcome to my channel And you already know what to say boys in the comments Okay, okay What's up guys, and today we're going to be using this um, Elat Goddess team Um, It's just pretty interesting to use in PvP um, I used either like CT food or Ofu for this team uh, I picked this team out of the team request on my Discord So if you want to join my Discord, it's going to always be in the description down below Or in the comments, pinned somewhere probably Um, So join that if you want to be with the boys and i might even showcase you guys teams or even do some live showcases for you guys so you can see your team win in action um but yeah we're gonna be using this team um basically it's just needed for your lat to get ultimate because the lat ultimate um increases defense related stats and all that good stuff which means tarmia nuke is going to hit pretty hard you also got sario who increases basic stats um of your units which is attack defense and hp so tarmia ultimate is going to be doing a lot of damage once you have these two um, on the field especially if you get her ultimate so that's pretty much what you're gonna be doing in pp right now now no one really uses this type of team they usually use like green guild thunder just because you know they have like this either have like goddess Elizabeth in the front and then green guild Thunder in the back and that's a lot better because you know goddess Elizabeth revive and her kit is just super super good so you might as well use that instead but we're gonna play around with this team in pp and see how it goes uh, i've been seeing a lot of solo many of this team so we might actually get a couple wins so all right i'm gonna do this to him I don't know. I'll just do this to him. He's going to save his Chandler card. So let's make sure he has no gauge. <laughs> Alright, let's see what he's going to do. Yeah, he moves his cards. Nice for him. Um, I guess I'll just do this then. Move my card. And move this again. But I need to take away his gauge. For Meliodas. Because if I don't get off this ultimate, I'm done for. And he has a stance card? Okay. He's going to waste it? Yeah, he has to keep moving his cards anyways. Alright, my guy. So let's see you waste it. Uh, I'm going to go for my Tarmia ultimate right here. See what he does. Because he needs another um, Chandler debuff card on me. I wonder if he's going to attack me now with Meliodas. Or does he have another Chandler card? Oh yeah, that's nice. Debuffs. Is he going to attack me with Meliodas? No, he doesn't. That's GG, boys. Now, he had me last time because, you know, he had a Chandler debuff card. And I wanted to see if it actually worked. Um, but this time, it's already GG, boys. He's going to get nuked completely. So we do that, or we debuff. So we got a defense increase by a lot. And Tarmia ultimate is based on the defense. So this should be GG, boys. Yep, nuked. Fun little match. Okay. Oh my god, this is like my fifth time facing this dude. Please, man, matchmaking sucks. Literally, my fifth time playing against this dude. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, I'm angry too. I keep facing you 15 times in a row. Dude, oh my god. Can I stop facing you? I don't know. I'm going to just play aggressive against this Meliodas, man. I'm tired of this. I don't even care about winning anymore. Will he face this guy 15 times in a row? It's literally our five, fifth time facing against each other. It's so annoying, bro. He gets Meliodas cards. Alright, he goes for a stance card. Interesting. Uh, I guess I'll just do this then. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll do this. Throw out my stance card. AD. And there you go. Yeah, I'm just tired of facing this guy. Now I have double ultimates, so what are you going to do now, my guy? Now you have undead on you. Literally been facing this guy all freaking day. So annoying. Yeah, that's not going to work on me, my guy. Like, all, that doesn't really do anything against my um, Tarmio, really. Like, I'm just done facing this guy a million times. Doesn't really stop my defense effect. It just stops the healing factor about my ultimate. So is Meliodas gone? 
I faced this guy a million times already, so I already know how his teams work. Which sucks for me. Doesn't really stop the, the defense effect of my ultimate. Oh my god. Did that glitch? What? Alright. Freaking tired of facing you, my guy. Oh my god. Literally, face this guy a million times. This matchmaking sucks. Like, it's like the only person playing. Yeah, GG, my dude. Okay, so, let's see what we can do with this team. Um, yeah, Saria got us a bit. So, he doesn't even care about his passive. Good for, good for him. Good for him. Um, he has Rid Gother as well. So, that means no more. That means he doesn't have crit either. So, I'm assuming that's why he doesn't care about his passive. He might go for attack seal or a stun. Okay, he's going for stuns on me. Sooner or later. Um, maybe I can rush my lat ultimate on him then. Or try to. Or maybe sorry, yo. Cause I might as well like do some damage to his Gother. Because Gother is very fragile anyways. So might as well. Oh my god, look at all that damage. Woo. That's tough, my guy. Now assuming this type of player how he is, he's probably gonna go for Goddess is a bit ultimate. Usually list player, all they do is go for the ult. Um, okay, does that? Pushes wait, what? Oh. He goes for my lat. He knows what's gonna happen. And he does that. Um, I wonder what he's gonna do. He's gonna actually go for me again. He went for a goal too. So he doesn't even care about his Gother, honestly. Um Alright, I'm just gonna do this then. I want to see what he's going to actually do right here then. I wonder if he's going to actually attack me. My lot. Because she does have the little CL on her. Okay. Let's see what he's going to do. I'm pretty sure I put the little CL on her. Unless I ran out of turns. Oh, never mind. I think I did run out of turns. Yeah, I think I did. And he just stuns me this time. Oh, that sucks for me, bro. Oh, yeah, that sucks. I thought I had Ghost on her. Maybe I ran out of turns. I forgot about it. Yeah, now he's about to go for his Godless bit ultimate. I got a little bit too greedy right there. Um, I'm assuming he's going to go for something like this. Yeah, he just does that. So that means he's going for his Godless bit ult. And I'm pretty much going to be done for, unless I don't get my lat ultimate. Yeah, I'm done for right there. Now I'll have his goddess Elizabeth right here to protect me. Uh, might as well just take away his gauge. This and then stop my shield. Like, might as well just nuke this guy, sorry, yo. I got too greedy. I definitely got too greedy against this guy. And I just throw up my shield. And I think he loses his godless bit reflect in a few turns. Oh, I got a st Oh my god, I got a gold stun. That's perfect for me. Because then I can just go for his Liz. Because I still got my revive anyways. So that's going to be nice for me. Now if I'm, if I'm able to go for his Liz, that's going to be perfect. Yeah. So we're gonna go for his Liz right here. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. And then that. So let's see what he's gonna do now. We just wanna break down his shield. And then boom. Now he can't do anything. That's perfect for us, boys. Yeah. So no more shield for him. And we get our own reflect. Okay, so what are you gonna do now? Because I still got my Goddess Elizabeth revive on me. What can you do against this now? Oh, he just does that. Just nuke me. Okay. Does that. He brought down my HP pretty low. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like, I already got the Reflect in the Ultimate coming soon. So you're already done for, my guy. And your Goddess Elizabeth is almost done for. So we're going to get rid of your Gother. And we already forced revive with our Saria ultimate, so this is probably gonna be GG either way. He's getting a defense boost from Sariel. 
Yeah. And you gonna make sure his Gother is gone. So what did he have in the back? What the one Escanor? Or something like that? Yeah, he has the one Escanor. That's pretty obvious. That's so obvious. He can't attack me or anything, so all he can do is just move cards. Because if he does attack, he's over with. So we're just going to keep stunning this guy's little bit until she's dead. And that's going to be GG. Yep. GG, my dude. Fun little match. And now this guy's little bit is gone, and we still got to reflect. So that means Sario won't be able to do anything. And we have Tarmiel to keep taking away the one that's in our gauge. Yep. GG. Okay, we have someone many of the team. Uh, I am using an old food this time, so this might be very interesting for me. That means I can push for my ultimate pretty easy. Um, I don't know. I feel like old food is a lot better, especially since I've been seeing a lot more Assault Mode Meliodas teams. So I'm just going to do this then, move my cards. I don't really want to attack Assault Mode Meliodas team, even though he might be potentially a void food. Because he's running those to Yale, so he might be that. So let's see what he has. Because he needs Droll Petrification. So, actually, no. He can't even do that. Because I got Ludociel on a lot. Okay. Or Fake Liz. I don't know what it's called a lot. Okay. He goes for Tarmiel. Because he already knows what's about to happen to him. Yeah, he already knows. Alright. I'm going to move my card. And, I don't know. Take away his gauge. Let's do that. I wonder if he is a void food though, low key. He might be potentially a void food. Yeah, I already know he's a void food. It doesn't really matter. That actually is very bad. That's actually good for me. If if, if I want to be honest, like, because that means that um, he doesn't get no more stacks on him. The only problem is obviously his ultimate, because he's gonna get his buffs up. Like that's literally the only big problem about all this. Um, but it doesn't really matter. Because with Tarmiel, my defenses are way higher right now. Which means I'll be able to nuke like two of his units right now. So let's see what he's going to do. He's going to ult. But remember, he has no stacks on him right now. So that sucks for him. So now all he has is buff from his um ultimate. Alright, he does that. Is he 6 out of 6? This man got mad dudes, doesn't he? Oh, he? Oh no, he did a lot of damage right there. Yeah, he didn't really finish me off, but I think he does have dudes on him. Or at least have, like, one shot soldiers. Yeah, he's 6 out of 6. I knew he had dupes on him. I'm like, he did he, wait, he did way too much damage. Uh, I'm just going to ult him right here then. Or no, I can just move my cards, right? Move my card. And do that. Just so I go for a lot ultimate again. Because I'm going to heal right back up to full HP. And he going to lose two of his units. Yep, he lost two of his units right there. I could have attacked him aggressively if I really wanted to, but he already lost anyways. He's using regular um, Zelda just anyways. And I can just keep taking away his gauge on Meliodas. Yeah, he's not going to be able to finish me off. So that should be GG, boys. Dude, I know what you can do, bro. I know you can't do nothing. He's just trying to, he's just trying to build up his passive and all that. Uh, let me just do this then. <laughs> like, you really can't do nothing against me now. That's why I went for a lat ultimate right there. Just so, in case he doesn't die, we can just do this. And that should be GG, boys. It's actually pretty far when you're using old food. Especially since I've been seeing a lot of someone mold many of his teams. We have here the one Eskner team. 132 KCC. Okay. But let's see what he's going to actually do. All right. He's 85, 85, 90. I wonder what he has in the back. Um, He goes for his cards. He goes for Sariel. Okay. Oh, my God. Sorry is getting absolutely destroyed right now. Yeah, that's absolute death for Sariel. That's tough. Sario got destroyed right there. I need to get for my lot ultimate then. Yeah, there we go, boys. 
So we can go for this and then go for our stance card. Uh, we can do this and then go for our stance card. Nice. So we do this. Good thing I got the Dusty Yell on my Elats or Fake Liz, whatever you want to call it. And I got a Gold Card on Tarmiel. Let's go, boys. Yeah, let's see what you got now, my guy. Um, what are you gonna do? Cause I have the Dusty Yell on Fake Liz. Unless he's gonna go for a shield. No, he goes for a stun on Tarmiel, which is not gonna matter. End of the day. Any debuffs? Like I said before, it's not gonna matter. Um. So he's gonna do this then. Go for a regular stance card. Do this. And I guess that. Now I have a gold card on Tarmiel. Whoever gets his ultimate, which is probably gonna be Goddess Elizabeth, I'm gonna get rid of. Because he's not gonna survive this Tarmiel nuke, anyways. Oh, yeah. And we lowering his HP on Green Gother, which is perfect for us. So let's see what this guy gonna do now, hmm? Let's see. Ooh, and we got a lot of Tarmiel cards. So let's see what he's gonna do. He's gonna go for a gold shield. Yeah, he does. I don't think it's gonna matter at the end of the day. Yeah, he, all he did was just remove my, my stun. But I can still take away his gauge, anyways. Um, so he's gonna do this where we nuke that and then this. So we might as well do that to this guy. Goddess Elizabeth Ultimate is going to be the one where we want to get rid of the most. Oh my god, never mind. Jesus, that damage. Any forfeits. GG, boys. I guess it's going to be the last matchup. Like, that was pretty easy, anyways. Um, oh, he had Death Pierce in the back. That's why he went for Sariel so hard. He should have went for a lot. He should have went for her. Um, he misplayed super hard by doing that. Um, he wanted to stall with using Liz. He wanted to be very toxic, but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day because he didn't go for the unit that he needed to. He went for Sariel, which is a big misplay. I guess he went for Sariel because he was scared that I might force somebody out and cause him to lose his passive if Death Pierce came in. But yeah, that was a big misplay on his part. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I think I liked it more with the old food instead of the CC food. But I already know the, the number one type of goddess team. Right now in PP, and that's the one with Green Guild Thunder. They have like either like Tarmio, Sorry, or Goddess Elizabeth, and then Green Guild Thunder in the back. Or you know, sometimes they might run like um, Sariel with Ludosio, but you want to have like Green Guild Thunder if you're going to use the Goddess team. That's why no one really uses a lot because you know, V1 Escort is like so destructive in PP, and having Liz is like really having Liz in the front is a lot better for you know the revive and all that good stuff. Her kid is just super, super good. Just for her not to have be in the front is like so, like um, it's so just so weird. But again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys join the Discord. Um, I usually pick some teams out there. Uh, I think I picked this team from Discord as well. Um, from Team Request, I usually pick some teams if I really like them and try them out in PvP. Just see how it goes, especially if I'm looking for something to do for PvP. Cause I'd be always wondering to do um different teams you know but again hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like subscribe this is really guys and i'm out peace